to our biology class. My dear children, last class we started our lesson. Yes, nutrition in plants. And we learnt what are nutrients? What is mean by nutrition? Different modes of nutrition. And we learn photosynthesis in detail. Right. I hope all of you studied these areas. Yes or no? Yes. Very good. Anyway, I am going to revise the topics again. What we have learnt last week. Listen here. My dears, our body needs some essential requirements. They are called nutrients. The process of taking nutrients or the process of taking food is called nutrition. Mainly two types of nutrition. One is, one is autotrophic mode. Next one is heterotrophic mode. Most of the plants are included in autotrophic nutrition. We the human beings and all types of animals and birds included in heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Clear? Okay. Next one, photosynthesis. What is mean by photosynthesis my dears? Yes, correct. Photosynthesis means the food making process in plants. Okay, plants prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide, water, minerals in the presence of sunlight and the pigment called chlorophyll. This is called photosynthesis. Okay, next we launch about stomata. What is mean by stomata? Yes, correct. Small pores present in leaf. These pores receive carbon dioxide directly from atmosphere. Right, okay. My dear children, today we are going to discuss algae. Then, Synthesis of food by the plants other than carbohydrates. Next, third topic. Ah, different mode of nutrition present in plants. Okay, are you ready? Uh-huh. Okay. Listen, dears. First of all, we are going to discuss algae. My dears, have you noticed some green patches in the ponds and in stagnant water? Have you noticed some slimy substances? Yes, that is what is called algae. My dear children, even though these plants are too small, they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. These green Slimy, small plants can prepare their own food. Okay, these plants are called algae. Usually, the algae are in green color. Okay, my dears, please go outside and watch. Okay, dears, most of the algae are in green color. But brown algae is the red algae is the in higher classes you will learn the red algae, brown algae and all. Okay, my dear children. Next, listen. We have learnt by the process of photosynthesis the plants prepare carbohydrates, right? Okay. Yes. Plants use carbon dioxide, water and minerals. Yes, in the presence of sunlight, our plants prepare carbohydrates. Yes, our plants can also prepare.
prepare other nutrients like protein and fats. My dears, our plants can also prepare fats and protein. Dear children, for the protein preparation, our plants need nitrogen. For the protein preparation, our plants need a nitrogen. Now tell me, how do the plants will get nitrogen? Have any idea? Directly from atmosphere? Yes? No, my dear children. Our plants cannot receive nitrogen directly from atmosphere. You already learned nitrogen amount is very high in atmosphere. But the plants cannot receive directly the nitrogen from atmosphere. Okay, we learned that through the stomata, yes, plants receive carbon dioxide. But in the case of nitrogen, yeah, our plants can't. Then how? Listen here carefully. Dears, some small bacteria are there in our soil. They receive this atmospheric nitrogen and convert into other form of nitrogen. It is usable by the plants. Got it? Let me repeat. Some Bacterias are present in our soil. Okay, these bacteria can receive atmospheric nitrogen and they convert this atmospheric nitrogen into usable form. Okay, this form, uh, our plants absorb yeah, by the root. Okay, then they will use this nitrogen and prepare fats and prepare protein. Got it? Okay. Dear children, have you noticed that the farmers are, uh, see, farmers are adding nitrogen fertilizer to the soil? Have you noticed? Why, dears? Yes, it is because of this one. What uh, our plants cannot receive atmospheric nitrogen directly. The nitrogenous fertilizer, when we are adding, uh, plants can absorb it directly. Okay. Understood? Okay. Dears, next I told you about other mode of nutrition by plants. There are different modes of nutrition present in our plants. The starting of the lesson, I told you that plants are autotrophic. But in some group of plants, uh, there is exception. Okay, now we are going to learn about some of the different type mode of nutrition by the plants. Listen here carefully. There are mainly three types of nutrition found in our plants. One is parasitism. Another one, insectivorous plants. The third category is saprotrophs. What is it? Yeah, saprotrophs. My dears, listen here. These plants are familiar for you. Hair-like plants. Yes, this is cascuta plant. Dear children, the cascuta plants are, yes, somewhat yellowish in color. Chlorophyll is absent in this plant. So what will happen? Yeah, these plants cannot prepare their own food. So, they depend other plants for their food. Got it? Chlorophyll is absent 
in these plants dears the cascuta plant is a climber what is mean by climber yes the plants need support to grow are called climbers we already learned from grade 6 cascuta is a climber so these cascuta receive food from the plant on which they grow okay yeah see cascuta plant is called a parasite okay cascuta plant is called a parasite the plant the parasite on which it is growing we will call as host plant got it what is parasite and what is the host plant now clear let me repeat once again the plant depends on other plants for their food is called parasite dears the plant on which parasite is growing called a host plant okay now clear okay my dears listen here these plants are familiar for you yes ah this one we already learned from our grade 5 right okay these are called pitcher plants these are called pitcher plants my dears these special plants can ah uh, digest small insects uh, and small animals like uh, rats and all okay how listen you can see one small sac like structure in the plants they are called pitcher these pitchers are the modified form of leaf these pitchers are modified form of leaves okay inside the pitchers we can see the presence of some hairs and some digestive juices also the inside the pitcher then above on apex of the pitcher we can see one lid like structure for which purpose it is yes very good when the insects entered into the pitcher what happened the lid like structure will close then these insects cannot cannot go outside then small hairs are present no inside the pitcher yes they will end up in the insect then some digestive juice also the inside the pitcher they will help the digestion of these small insects yeah very special plants are this one because of this insect eating nature they are called insectivorous plants the name itself the meaning is the yeah insectivorous plants okay insectivorous plants ah uh, they can eat insects right they can digest the small insects clear okay my dear children let's wind up the session what all the important points we discussed today yes right today we studied about algae and we studied ah uh, plants can prepare fats and protein after that we studied other modes of nutrition present in plants which are the modes of nutrition we discussed today yes right today we discussed ah uh, parasites and uh, insectivorous plants right i hope all of you understood today's session okay that's all today have a 
fantastic day hope to see you in the next class with a new topic bye bye assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh